while it's very interesting to get people involved in their community, it's extremely difficult to get people involved in government, in politics. And there's no rocket science to this. It's exactly why you think it is. People are cynical. They feel alienated from their governments. They feel that their vote won't make a difference, that all governments are the same, and that they don't see themselves in government. Which, if you think about it, is ridiculous. Because, of course, government is about people, and people are about government. I don't exist but for my citizens. And I think that that is a, a, a problem, a very big problem, a very big disconnect that we have to try and negotiate, that we have to try and figure out how we've done that. Certainly, we politicians have to take a lot of the blame for this, and I'll come back to that theme um, in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I said before I came up here, I'm going to speak for a really short period, so we'll have tons of time for dialogue. I've been mayor for four and a half years. I've started almost every single set of remarks with, I'm going to speak for a really short period, and then we'll have a lot of time for dialogue, and I have never succeeded in doing it. So maybe here, uh, maybe here this is, this is uh, the first. So people often describe that alienation of citizens from government as apathy. I actually don't think that's true. I don't think there is such a thing as an apathetic person. I don't think there is such a thing as a person who doesn't care about their future, who doesn't care about their family, who doesn't care about their community. The challenge is that we've created government institutions that are by their nature alienating. And what do we do about that? So back to my story. I decided I wanted to change this. I had worked with a group of great people, mostly young people, but not entirely, through a couple of organizations, Canada 25, an organization called the Better Calgary Campaign, and an organization called Civic Camp, which is a ridiculous name. The reason it's called Civic Camp is because the very first event was meant to be like a bar camp in the tech industry, where you get everybody together to solve a problem. And the problem we were trying to solve was, how do we build a better city? And we never could come up with an actual name for the organization, so we just called it Civic Camp. But all of these people were starting to get more involved, but nobody wanted to volunteer on political campaigns, and in particular, nobody wanted to run for office. And I think if you don't have great candidates, then it's very, very difficult for government to be as effective as it could be.